rolling. Hey guys, happy tennis day. And you know what? You might be thinking, what is he wearing? Uh, it is literacy week here at Bay Meadows Elementary School. And uh, you know, we're celebrating Dr. Seuss style this week. So um, we got the yellow and uh, we got the nice Seuss type hat. So uh, we're having fun here at Bay Meadows Elementary School, but I am so excited to start Tennis! So we got Mr. <laughs> Walmart, I've got a joke for you. All right. Which tennis tournament is always open? Hmm. I think I know this one. It's the U.S. Open! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, there's four main tournaments in tennis. And uh, yes, the one that's in the United States of America is called the U.S. Open. All right, today is the first lesson of tennis. Boom shakalaka. Let's get ready for some tennis skills. Tennis starting and um, step one today, of course, you're gonna get your racket or something uh, similar, uh, tennis ball or something similar. And in step one, I want you to keep this racket flat. So keep the racket flat, almost like it's your pancake. And this is the butter. Put the butter right in the middle and try to keep your butter as you walk, try to keep your butter on the pancake. Ah, don't let your butter, ah, don't let your butter fall off the pancake. <laughs> keep your butter on the pancake. If you bend your, if you make your, Tennis racket, go to a side, it will roll off. So you want to keep your racket flat. Like a pancake. So that that butter will stay on there as you walk around. Oh, okay. Ooh, yeah. Hey, boys and girls, step two on this. Put your racket down, take your ball, and try to bounce it right in the middle. The middle of a racket is called the sweet spot. Ooh. Oh, baby, you're so sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, good. yeah. So you want to bounce it right in the middle. So you're going to bounce it right in the middle and try to catch it. Woo! Woo so bounce the ball right in the middle and then try to catch it. Ooh. Rolling. All right, on step three, we just got done catching it and throwing it down. Now I want to see if you can dribble like we just did in basketball and keep the dribble going. If you're really good, keep it going on the sweet spot. Ooh la la. You can do it. So we're gonna do some steps that deal with control. In tennis, it is more important to have good control over power. If you have power and you're just hitting out of bounds, you know that's not gonna do your team or you any good in this sport. So it's better to have good control. So we're gonna just do some tricks today that will help us control the ball. Uh, the first thing you need to know is when you have your tennis ball, um, that the best place to hit is right in the middle. That's called the sweet spot. Oh, baby, you're so sweet. So try to hit the ball in the sweet. Now, will it work here? Yes. Will it work there? Yes. It, it, it just doesn't work as well as the sweet spot. So always try to focus on trying to hit it in the sweet spot. Of course, for safety reasons, this is more for our face-to-face -face kids, because um, you guys are probably gonna practice in your driveway. You might be the only one, maybe your mom or dad is around. But for us, we have 50 kids um, that are all practicing at the same time. So we need to make sure that we are in our personal space. Um, you see these right here, these little tiny squares. If you are not in your space and you accidentally whack somebody in the face, Imagine all these little squares all over their skin, then they will look like a waffle. 
So no waffle face here. We don't want any waffle face. Make sure you stay in your space. We are, since we just got done with basketball, we're gonna pretend that this is our basketball and this is our big giant hand. So you're gonna drop the ball, hit it in the sweet spot and hit the ball down towards the ground. Let it bounce back up. You don't need to bring the racket down to the ball and just see how many times in a row you can dribble the ball down, hitting the ball down. Let the ball come back up to you before you hit it and hit it in the sweet spot. All right, next step, instead of bouncing down, we're going to bounce up. Um, so we're gonna bounce it up in this case bounce on the ground that just gives you more time some of our younger students need that to keep it going and angles are very important in the game of tennis if I were to hit it with my racket angles it would go to the side same with the other way same with this way oh, oh. so you have to keep your racket at the appropriate uh, angle but again, if you're maybe kindergarten or first grade or even second grade, let it bounce on the ground to give you more time. Notice I'm not bringing my racket up to hit it. My angle changes and that will make the ball go behind me. If you need to use two hands on the racket, that's not a problem at all. You can just keep it going. Now, in this case, you don't want to really be walking around, so you want to keep your racket level and flat. And always keep your eye on the ball. So it doesn't need to go really high into the air. It really doesn't need to go much higher than your head. Um, but if you're more skilled, it can even stay lower. But, so I'm waiting for the ball to come down to the racket. I'm waiting for the ball to come down. I'm being patient. All right, give it a shot. So how am I supposed to do my arm thing if they're supposed to laugh? You're still gonna do it. Okay, okay, guy. Oh, so it's on camera. That makes it even funnier, okay. Yes. Mr. Highfield, do you have a joke for us? I do have a joke for everybody here. Which tennis tournament is always open, Mr. Wilmot? Right, retake, retake. <laughs> okay. I have... Fix your hair. Oh, oh yeah. Thank hey, Mr. You. Highfield, fix your hair before you tell a joke, man. It makes a difference. Thank you. Thank you. I gotta have my, my hat telling joke. Uh, um, hat, my joke telling hat on. Okay. All right, I'm ready. The racket. The sweet spot. Ew. Ew. Double Gross. <laughs> <laughs>